Big Blue returned to work here at the Integris Health Thunder Development Center, taking a great deal of satisfaction over the victory over Memphis, in which they held the Grizzlies to 5 of 19 shooting grant in the fourth quarter. At the same time, as you pointed out on our broadcast on Fox Sports Oklahoma, there was a little bit of living dangerously in there as the tempo often favored the Grizzlies in that ball game. Yeah, and the good thing about that is when you slow the ball game down, you're going to keep your turnovers to a minimum if you're Scott Brooks in the Thunder, but they want to play at a faster pace. They have to find a balance of how they do that when they run across a team like the Memphis team that wants to slow it down. Although the Thunder can play that style, they would like to increase the tempo and somehow find the balance. And the issue of pace is very close to the top of the coaches to do list. I think the, there's a couple of times where we had opportunities to make the right play offensively. We did, uh, which was good to see in a game that we didn't have um, give them credit because they, they were playing a, a, a slower uh, style of play, but we were playing a slower um, ourselves. Whether, whether for whatever reason, we didn't have the the speed and quickness that we like to play with on the offensive end, but we still managed to execute when we had to in the half court, which is uh, another step in the right direction. Serge Ibaka talked today about how satisfied he's been with the state of his game, his eighth 20-point game since the middle of January. He'd only had three total the entire season leading up to this stretch the last few weeks. But Serge was talking today, Grant, about his sense of pride at even being in the conversation for the Western Conference All-Star team. And he should be very proud, Brian, the way his game is continuing to ascend. He's taking off right now. And I think the, what's been a big improvement for him is with all players as they continue to improve is that he's finding out what's going to make him some, uh, successful from night to night, especially on the offensive end of the floor. The pick and pop scenarios, he's starting to knock that down with regularity. And what I like most about that is all the work is done prior to the ball getting there. If you notice Serge Ibaka on, on the offensive end of the floor, he's getting a lot of catch and shoot opportunities. And for him, that's a big time plus. It's dependent situation. You know, I work on everything normally. I spend uh, most of the time in the summer working on everything. So it just depends, you know. But, you know, for a big guy, it's always very easier to catch and shoot, you know. Well, I'll tell you what, we've come so far from the days early in Serge's career when he was known simply as a guy that was supposed to run the floor, rebound, and block shots. I think for all players that want to become good in the NBA, want to be better than good, I'm talking about great players, they all want to be considered two-way players, and Serge is starting to be considered one of those best two-way players in the league. And the thing I love about the guy is that as far as he's concerned, all-star, all that other stuff, doesn't really matter as long as the Thunder wins from night to night. Thunder and Minnesota coming up on Wednesday. Wednesday night, a 7 o'clock start. We'll have it on Fox Sports Oklahoma. Matt Pinto will have it for you on the Thunder Radio Network. And also, all things Thunder, Nick Gallo always has you covered right here at thunder.nba.com.